Take a little bit of this, a little bit, a little bit. You want like you, Lord Jesus. You want like you, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Mighty God, the Great I Am. So come and keep. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, Jesus. My son, and my right hand, the Lord, we give you praise. Glory, 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 honor, honor, honor to your holy name. King of kings, we give you praise. Lord of lords, we give you praise. The man that tied the boat, he never, he never was taken. 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 We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. No one like you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus, tonight. The man that sang the demo, he never was taken. Now we are man that sang the man who never was taken. In the name we thank you, Lord Jesus, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the week, oh Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, on last week, Father, Lord Jesus, we pray, oh Lord, Lord Jesus, that you will lead us. We committed this very week that we just passed, oh Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that each, each of, the, of the day, we will go out and come back. We will go out and come back. We will go out and come back. Yeah, I will, Lord Jesus. But it's fine, Lord, your goodness and your mercy, Lord. Let's start all the wickedness that's what's happening in our lives. But at this point, I will be able, Lord Jesus. Try, Lord Jesus, master the covenant that should never with you. But I will remain stamped by your blood. I hear I will not have the benefit of all. You say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My rock of the universe is here. Glory be to your name, Jesus. We well, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, Lord Jesus, that went with us and was came out along with us, Lord Jesus. We well, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's save your holy name, Lord. We thank you for our loved ones. We thank you for our nations. We well, thank you, Lord Jesus, for our jobs. We well, thank you, Lord Jesus, for their lives. We well, thank you for their good health. We well, thank you, Lord Jesus. We well, thank you, Lord. Let's save your holy name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Right tonight, Lord Jesus, as we come to your presence, O Lord, we yield our lives and everything up to you, Lord Jesus. As that the Lord forgive us, then you will have sinned against you, Lord Jesus, consciously or unconsciously, Lord. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And I have mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord Jesus. Let your mercy prevail over every evil. Let your mercy prevail over every wickedness. Let your mercy prevail, Lord, just over every door that you have opened, Lord, with our vision. Let your mercy have mercy, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We repent of all our sins, Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We so ask you some more in the blood of Jesus. This environment in the blood of Jesus. The moment of our viewers in the blood of Jesus, for our mental presence, O Lord Jesus. Run in the mouth and the air. Mass hell. Run out of my brother here. Chase out everything evil in the name of Jesus. I will ask for a little friend to take care of the Lord Jesus. In the name of them. Bring also, Lord Jesus, the benefit and let everything we do tonight, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mass send it by you. Be only you and only you. In charge of everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. In the presence of Jehovah, Lord
We thank you, we give you praise. You have been so good to us. You have been so good to me. You have been there for us. Even in our sin, our iniquity, you've been there for us. Lord Jesus, we give you praise. One of the great things you've done and you're still doing in our life, Lord Jesus. Even in our sin, oh Lord Jesus, you have not judged us according to our sin or destroy us. Father, more giving us the punishment that is a equivalent to our master, punishment equivalent to our sin. But your mercy, 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 Lord. Who are all that God so mindful of us? Always forgiving us. Even in our as, as we are committing those sins and they're doing annoying him, he's still having, you know. Good things is tough for us. If my people who are called by my name, if my people who are called by my name, when they have finished sinning and come back to me, I will heal them, I will restore them. I will bless them. I will make them great. I will make them to triumph over their enemy. I will wipe out their shame. I will restore the years that they have that can can walk and look consecrated if they repent. If they repent, what is God? What is God? Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, your mercy, Lord Jesus. My Lord, tell me about where you are. Let me ask you 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 about where you are. My God, tell me about where you are. Let me ask you about where you are. Let me ask you about we take, we take, we take, we take. We bow down and worship
of Revelation, Hallelujah. Said, and the multitude from various tribe, language, nations, stripes of earth gathered around the throne, sending salvation to the Lord who has delivered us from this wicked war, who has given us victory over all the wickedness of period that was exercised against us to push us to the kingdom of darkness, to push us to hellfire. And here I will be triumph after all the wickedness being exacted upon us. Hallelujah. He gave us a millions and millions and millions from every tribe of the world, from different languages and tongues. Salvation to the the songs of the victors, the seasons on the thank you all for giving all victory over this world. Yes, Lord, and forever. Oh, salvation to the land, salvation to the land. Oh, seated on. The throne into the land forever. Salvation to the land, salvation to the land. Who seated on the throne? Shadow. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. We say to you all glory, to you all honor, all adoration be for all the things that you have done for us. For those deliverances, oh Lord, those sickness, those disease, those accidents, those things that would have taken away our lives, Lord Jesus. Those bad news, oh Lord Jesus, Mara, that you delivered our loved ones for. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Glory, glory, majesty, dominion be to you, holy name, for all things you've done, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the things you've done, oh Lord Jesus. We say glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. You are king, you are Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We say glory to you, oh Lord Jesus. The glory, 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 glory to you. Thank you for all that you have done, Lord Jesus. Right tonight, Lord Jesus, we we hear from Lord Jesus remembering everything. We one we can remember because everything you've done for us only today we cannot remember uh, even half of them. The rest of this whole week, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. 
in the map, hey, the map. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Rock up by the balls in here. When the man said it about holy river, rock up by the balls here. You say, Glory, 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 all honor, all adoration be to you, Lord Jesus, for the thing that you have done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We praise, we give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Run in the most sanity, most sanity. You name my son, little boy, Roku, for you to buy Zadibo You name my son, little boy, Zodia. Oh, my God, back up, I did. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. We worship you, we adore you. Ma Zana, Ma Sandinamo, Roko for your bazaria. No, 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 son of the boss, shake a pie in the boss of the air. Rack up pie in the boss, and everybody in the boss of the boss here. In the mass, Sandinamo, right in the boss here. Rack up pie in the boss of the boss here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Roko for your bazaria. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Make it pass and the most of the way it was here. Nana must send it over here. Must send it in the name of Jesus. We worship. Amen and amen. Let's open the Bible to Psalm. I mean, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Mark, for your back. In the massacre. Psalm chapter 46, verse 1 to 9. Psalm 46, 1 to 9. Rack up, I never stay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. One of God said that, Hallelujah. Father, Lord, let your light shine on your light of understanding in the name of Jesus. God is our refuge and, and, and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved, the heart of the sea, hallelujah, move, move, though the earth, mountains move into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, Mark idea. You know, these things represent this 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 description represent the trouble that we go through. I mean, because you know, most time most time the Lord the Lord illustrates troubles, you know, with uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, with flood, 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 flood. When the flood of the enemy, you know, flood of the enemy, you know, most time those are what we face, but unfortunately, we don't really realize what we go through most time. When you look here, trouble here, trouble from the from 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 every corner. I pray in the name of Jesus, whoever that is facing, or in the name of Jesus, your life, whatever trouble, both the one you know and you don't know, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is telling you, telling us that He's with with us. In the name of Jesus, we should not be moved, we should not be shaken, we should not be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Ma Saniriboya. Because we have a God who is greater than all. In the name of God, we see those situations fade. We see those situations give way. We see those situations give way. They will not overwhelm you. They will not overwhelm us. In the name of God, act of future Lord will come out triumphant. We come out with new strength. We come out with greater wisdom. We come out with greater power. With, with greater mass and ability. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said, 
There is a river whose stream makes glad the city of God. The holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her. When morning dawns, Maria, the nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utter his voice and the earth melts. He mm -hmm. utter his voice. Those situations that is challenging you in the name of Jesus. They have no option than to melt in the name of Jesus. The Lord of hosts is with us. Hallelujah. Whatever we are going through, let's always remember that the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Hallelujah. Verse, verse 8 says, Come, behold the works of the Lord. How he has brought the solution on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. He makes war cease. He makes war cease. He makes war cease. Like our brothers and our, 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 our grandfathers, those who experienced the Second World War, and some of our people that experienced you know, some of these wars in the as well, the same civil wars in their country. When they tell you, you know, what they went through, sometimes when you are hearing bullet, bullet, bullet upon bullet, gunshot upon gunshot, cry upon cry, it look as if it can never then stop. As if there is no end. As if there is no end. No matter the war from the kingdom of darkness against your life, against your destiny, bringing problems from various angles and various places, in the name of Jesus, the God who created heaven and who created everything that is in it, in the name of Jesus, with the in the name of you by your power, let there be silence. Let there be silence. Let there be silence. Let there be silence. In the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So he makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spell, the spell. He burns the chariot to fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in whatever issue it might be. The Lord never exalted at the end of it all. When Job faced what he faced, at the end of it all, the Lord was exalted. It's now to glorify. No matter whatever situation that you are going through. Through what? Through the thing that Abraham went through, the name of the Lord was glorified. From there we know that God is the one that provides. The God is the one that keeps his promise. God is the one that gives life to what is totally dead. God is the one that restores. Now, is it possible that that dead womb of Sarah can carry a child? That the woman who's all already gone can push out a child without any physique, without any surgery? Without any surgery. Is it a few days ago I saw what is so shocking? A woman got married at the age of 103 years. Age of 103 years. The most beautiful thing about it is this. She went through all the things she went through. Probably, I don't know if he's already living a man. I don't really know the, the whole, I don't know the, 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 the story and the, and the picture I saw like glad my heart. He made me not even to go through the details of the story. And the, the, and the, the Lord was able to keep her. Gave her strength. She was standing still. It's not even standing like, a, like, a, like someone who is old. God, God gave her the strength for that very day. God gave her everything she needed. With that, she was fully, fully fine. Just fully okay. Hallelujah. 
What is that this God cannot do? What, what is that? Probably she has seen herself wearing a wedding gown when she was a little, probably in her teen. See herself in a dream. They have been prophesied over and over. You must wear your wedding gown. At the age of 30, God, where are you? 40, where are you? 50, where are you? 60, where are you, God? 70, is still believing the same God. Because, because I, I know that she was, she, was, she was hopeful that, and I've been prophesying it, that she was well before she died. Finally, it became reality. Hallelujah. There's nothing God cannot do. No matter whatever the fears and the, you know, this thing, that kind of a situation will make people to, to put their hand into what they're supposed not to put. And they end up, and end up destroying their life. And now her story is now over, you know, everywhere. Her story makes more sense than all those our brothers, that those who have got married already before her time. Those who married 35 years or 40 or, you know, 20 or whatever. Her own story is more interesting. Hallelujah. Now, when those who are looking for to marry, he said, God, that you bled this one. She became now like the cornerstone that we people have to pass through now. God of that woman, remember me. God of Abraham, remember me. God of Sarah, remember me. The same way in the name of Jesus, that people will begin to call your name. The name of where they're asking God for something because he has done it. And I pray in the name of Jesus that he will do it in the name of you. No matter whatever evil, both spiritually and physically, they have been done to prevent it from happening in your life. The enemy is a liar. Is a liar. What the Lord has said in your life must come to pass in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, the wicked ones that gather everywhere look as if there's no way for you to achieve that thing the Lord has told you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Run and amass Sandaria. Rock of river. The Lord said in his word that he breaks the bows of the wicked. He shatters their spells. Their spells. And I am born their chariots that were designed against the righteous with water of fire. Because the Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. Is our refuge in the name of Jesus. The Lord was saying, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of Jacob is our refuge. In the name of our fortress. In the name of the Lord for you to be your fortress. No matter whatever that comes your way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God. By this time next year. We'll be alive. Fully whole. Hallelujah. We to count our blessings. One after the other. In the name of this time, by this time next 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 week, in the name of you, we will still be in your presence. In the name of you, we will not be in hospital bed. We will not be in a place that we cannot give you thanks. In the name of Jesus, no matter whatever plan and the wickedness of the wicked, whoever that dogs that did evil pit, they must fall into it. If they want to, if they don't want to fall into it, the the quickest and the safest thing for them to repent. And give their life to Jesus Christ. And that will now grant, grant them freedom from the evil that they have brought them. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So shall it be. And we will be here once again next week, Friday, to give God thanks. In the name of Jesus. And this time next year, we'll be here again. And this time next month, in the name of Jesus, we'll be here again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. And we seal it in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take the songs again. And celebrate our victory already. For next week, Friday. No matter the situation. In the name of we use these songs to arrest whatever negative situation. In the name of Jesus. To put ourselves already in the place of thanksgiving. In the place of Hallelujah. Of counting our blessings 
and then naming them one one after the other in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For your goodness, for your mercy, for the things you've done, oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When we are unlovable, oh Lord Jesus, Father, Lord Jesus, you did not condemn us. You still love us. If we know our sin, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How many times have we come to you, oh Lord Jesus, today, this very week, this very year, asking you to forgive us over and over, and you keep forgiving us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your name of your great love towards us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. While we are still sinners, you died for us. While we are still sinners, you died, you died for us. Even when we have lost our way, he's still there waiting for us. Like the prodigal son and his father. When we lost our way, he was still there waiting for us. Waiting for us. Waiting for us to come back. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for not giving up on us. Thank you, Father, for not giving up on us. So many times we have wronged you. So many times, Lord, we have done what we're supposed not to do. So many times we have fallen you back and back and over and over into the same thing that you have confessed and promised that you will not do again. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for not giving up on us, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your strength. Your strength. You strengthen us and more of your spirit in our hearts in the name of Jesus to permanently forsake those wrong way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now this song say, I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, I am so glad that Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, oh me, hallelujah. What the Lord is telling us this hour is this. Remember how many times we sin, and when we come back to him, he forgive us. Do the sin. To your brothers, to your sisters, to your, to your enemies. Forgive, 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 forgive. Because in this my journey, in this life, I've, 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 I've witnessed a lot of these things. They say that, oh, because of this thing, this person has done. I will never, I will never forgive him. No, that's very wrong. No matter whatever anyone has done, even if they have killed your husband or killed your wife, or even taken your husband, obedience. The Lord expects you to still forgive them. Let go. Forgive them from the day you have. Then the only thing you can do is just to draw the boundary now. You don't, you know, go back, you, you know, opening yourself. Because the reason why your friend will take your husband or or your friend will, because of, you know, our simplicity. Because the Bible says that the simplicity of the fool destroys them. So simple. Sometimes you open everything, all your secrets to someone, and they will use it against you. You open everything, open everything. Even though you have done that, they have used the secret you've opened to, to, to help themselves, prospering and, uh, you know, making it in life. They're now still using that thing against you. The Lord expects you to see for you then, that you should not stop doing good. Keep doing good to them. But the only thing there is this. That closeness, you need to just set some boundary. 
so that you know continuous people hurt because the person who has decided to hurt you when you have been so good to him he will still come back again to hurt you then you create that boundary you love them you love them you love them from deep down your heart but the thing there is just that you have to create that boundary just like you know the boundary i'm talking about is not it's not hate that different between creating boundary boundaries and and hating someone like David and Saul. David, David loved Saul with, even when he was doing him evil. David will see danger that want to destroy Saul. He will, he, will, he will protect Saul. Even when Saul is not aware that he created that boundary, he is on his own. Then, he, then Saul was on his own. That relationship, like coming to, together, you know, in the same place, you know, and eating the same table. You know, being his a court bearer and all those kind of things. He, that band that is the boundary. He created the boundary. Hardly to protect himself. That is what the Lord is expecting you to do, not to hate your enemy. You create the boundary in the name of Jesus. Because when we hate our enemy, we are totally now against the will of God. God because in our sin, he loves us. Over and over, we have seen and seen and seen. Because Paul, as you have committed, as as you are, as you have, get, you know, as he is forgiving us, we are falling back to the same sin. He will still forgive us, and therefore the Lord expects us to do the same to our enemy. In the name of Jesus, do the same to them. But the thing there is this: as human being for sign, anyone who have wickedly stand against you or be a false witness against you. Who oh, have done you wrong, even when you are so much, is does there, there's no way he's supposed to do that against you. And he and he opened, you know, he has opened a quarter. He has started a a, 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 a he has opened a quarter. He will always that, that is the, he will always do it again. That is when somebody or probably you are married and they, in the process you have a quarter and your spouse or whatever carry your things and throw out. From the house, it's so ask you to get out of the house. Have the mind to gather your loads and send it out. It never return again to that house. No matter what, it don't return back. Love him or her from afar. If you return back, the same will continue to happen. There's no way it will continue to happen. It can take a few days or a few months, it will happen again. Therefore, it's only to open yourself to such kind of um, you know, wicked soul. Just be far away. They may come and cry, cry of tears, and carry, you know, gather everybody to come and beg you to please, and wife come back or husband come back. Don't listen. Bible says that the simplicity of the fool will destroy them. Hallelujah. That is very like some people who say, "Oh, he had reconciled. Oh, he went back to the oh, the divorce. He did not come back." They tell you what they are enduring now. The, the next level of wickedness is going on. You'll be sure. That it, it's not possible. Hallelujah. Let that love be from our family not together anymore. And for that grace that was given to them, they, they, they destroyed it. That portal has been destroyed. Hallelujah. That is just a word of wisdom to someone. And I pray in the name of Jesus that that will be a deliverance to you. In the name of so you don't use your own hand and cut your life short. The Lord will tell you when when He comes. And I warned you, because you give account of your life. You give account of how how the how you use the life that He gave you, and therefore don't make yourself vulnerable to such kind of the uh, conditions. In the name of Jesus, Satan is very very wicked. He's very very crafty. He may come to you and give you money and give you this and promise you heaven and earth. Don't listen to them. The peace of mind is greater than any kind of offer of money or anything. Peace of mind is greater. Because you say, oh, I'll take the money and go. That money will become a snail to you. That money will, will, will become a snail to you. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Right, right now, we're just going to go straight now to our confessions. And I pray as we do this confession, the Lord, through it, and do great things in our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Sam with the three of us trying to think. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, if we read the Bible very well, what I just said now, if you read the Bible very well, you can see how God operated with the children of Israel. The same thing. But the word we read this thing without understanding. And the process will end up making useless mistakes. That God himself is going to be angry with us. You see, when the children of Israel, after tested the goodness and the mercy of God, after tested, tested, you know, the deliverance, the mighty hand of God, they saw the rest he divided. They experienced it, they saw the pillar of fire, the pillar of cloud. They saw these great signs and wonders of God, mighty hand of God. They decided to create an image and begin to worship and bow down. They have done what's supposed not to be done. Did they God forgive them? God forgave them. But what did they God say? Then let me destroy this one because now they have there. At the end of it all, what, what happened? They still did not make the, the, the promised land. All those who experienced that, except what Caleb and Joshua. You know, when they have to tell you that when it's so that it's so that it's, 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 it's so that someone cannot repent when he has a probably throw the this and out and all those stuff. That happens once in a million. You have it in a million cases. Only one. Only one. And that one is Clem and Joshua. Because the people that left the children of Israel, I mean the, 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 the land of Egypt, they were, they were almost a million people. Out of that whole million people, only two were able to receive salvation or totally repented from that very act. But the rest, unfortunately, they cannot. It's very, very rare. That is why Bible, the Lord said that if someone has tested the goodness and the mercy of God, and said again to deny Christ, for the person to come back again to faith, is very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult. That's the reason why he ordered that those who committed those kind of things. And that's the reason why in the Old Testament you live very well. Those who have that mind to be that wicked against God, to become falsehood, or, or to or to be their parents or do some some abomination. The Lord knows the heart of man. That is why he said, take them to the city, to the back of the city and stone them to death. If you sleep with animal, stone them to death. If you sit with your if you sleep with your with, with your mother or with your father, you know, stone them to death. There's some things that there's no way. There's no way. I know the blood of Jesus, has, even with the blood of Jesus, it still happened. Like Ananias and Sapphira in the Bible, because they tested the goodness and the mercy of God. Unfortunately, they are still for what they happen. They exactly are supposed to be. And they fell and died. I pray may God give us open our eyes in the name of Jesus to this very truth so that we don't allow ourselves because enemy will manipulate. Enemy will give you scripture that will make you to, to succumb so that or bring great people or great those who, who they know that you will, that, that you will respect, that you will respect when they come to, to, to interfere in your affair. In order to say, oh, I cannot say no to this pastor. I cannot say no. Or oh, I'm packing my load. I'm going back to that place. Or oh, I'm reconciling with this person. We'll start living it up together again. Don't allow that. Please, my brothers and sisters. Because if they tell you that some of those who will come and start begging you, some of them may have interior motive or have something to gain. <laughs> Human being are dangerous. Some of them may have something to gain when you will come back. Because of what they stand to gain, that's just the reason why they don't care about you. Seriously. They don't even know their prophet, their teachers, their pastors, they don't care about you. What they care is about their own selfish interests. Hallelujah. Let's be very careful in the name of Jesus so that we don't use our own hand to go back again to bondage. Hallelujah. In the name of your God, deliver us in Jesus' name.
And this very thing that I'm saying is what I have experienced, what I have saw, what I've seen happen in the life of people. Hallelujah. And therefore, when it's like that, you just draw that line. But the thing you must make sure you do, you don't hate that person. You don't hate that person. Because if you hate that person, you are, you are doing the same thing like unbeliever. You are not a Christian. You are not a Christian. If you still hate somebody, you don't hate anybody. But you can draw the line in the name of Jesus. Right, may God help us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, Psalm 23, verse 1. Hallelujah. It's our confession. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes us to lie down in green pastures. He leaves us beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads us in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rock and staff that comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You are not my hair with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And I pray that God will give us the wisdom, the understanding. So when we read the word of God, we read it with understanding. Because we really need the Holy Spirit of God to give us understanding. Because it's not everything that being teach and being preached are true. Some teach and preach because of their selfish interests. Seriously. And indirectly using their messages, putting innocent people on that serious bondage and yokes. May God help us in Jesus' name. Using the message is putting people under bondage and yoke. Hallelujah. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. There's a difference between love and separation. Total separation. Hallelujah. If you look at what happened, Makai Rebaski, Reboshi. Between Jesus Christ, that, is, that very story is it's all about is Jesus Christ, the prodigal son is Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a story that he gave. The prodigal son caught himself. He knows that the line had been drawn. He knows that the reason why when he was going back to his father, he said, let me go and become a servant. That is what he is. Even though that his, his father decided to bring him back and restore him back as a full son, but in every ratification, he's a servant. It's no longer a son. Even if he tried to walk himself anyhow, he's no longer a son. He's not a servant. Because he has disowned himself. There are some things we don't do in life. There are some things we don't do. You saw your father, you disrespected your father. And for the prodigal son to even start doing that at all, he must have been fighting with his father, quarreling with his father, beating his father, pushing him down. You useless man. Why should you be this one? You are a useless man. You are this, that, that, that. Some, a lot of people do that to their parents. Then if you look at their life, it can never be, you definitely know that there are some forces that is fighting them. It's the forces that they themselves have used their hand to, to trigger. You don't fight your parents. When it's too much, just shut up your mouth and listen to them. It doesn't matter wherever they are coming from. Even if they are not Christians, shut up your mouth when they are angry with you talking. The only thing that should be coming out from your mouth is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Even if you are the one feeding them, even if you are living in your mansion. God help us in Jesus' name. I know this world is a world that everybody has to stand and have to respect them. Put yourself in the place of that your parent that you are disrespecting. Put yourself in their place. 
and the son, the person you take care of six months and give back to and nurture, you know, and now coming to challenge you and telling you that you're not a father, that you are a useless man that doesn't know how to manage. There is a mistake that it came to your life. My, how painful that will be. That's the thing that the, the prodigal son's father went through. Okay, since you want to go, we divide the, the, the go. He went. And after some time, he wasted the whole money, wasted everything. But the good thing about the prodigal son is that he remembered that he has a good father. Now he reflected to the, the way, you know. The way his father operates, then I decided to go back. But even in all that hurt and that pain and that humiliation and that shame that was poor on the father, the father sighted him from afar. The father made the move, run after him, and embrace him, and embrace him, and kiss him, and kiss him. That is the way God is kissing some of us in the name of Jesus. Those who have truly repented. That is the same way, the same, the same way the Lord wants you. If you have been rude, you have been so insulted, you have been so, you know, you know, hostile to your parents. Because it's so, it's so bad. It didn't hurt me so much. That someone that gave back to you. Would be in somewhere talking or, or talking with someone. When they see you, they become afraid. They will stop. They will stop talking. Because you don't know what they will say and you attack them. What else is supposed to be the other way around? That is not right. Please, if any of us who are practicing this kind of life is not good, please. Please. Even if you don't want to take care of your parents, please. Stop it. It's not good. Now your parents are talking. Your parents is doing something. When they pay, your parents see you, they are afraid of you. No, it's supposed not to be. Please, repent from it. Hallelujah. As you see, when you repent from that kind of uh, attitude, you will see some changes in your life. Some things that you never understand. Some mysteries. Negative things that are going on in your life you don't understand. You begin to see the Lord turn around. Hallelujah, because it's a massive blessing when we honor our parents. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter whatever they have been. Somebody may, he may say, oh, they're, because they're not Christian. I'm telling you, that's one of these great men of God in Ghana. His father was a, 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 a well-known occultic grandmaster. And this guy was a pastor. His father was, everybody feared him. But when it comes to him and his father, he always respects the man. Whatever his father says is what goes. Then if you have anything to say, he must wait until his father is totally okay, happy. Then ask him to do something. He quickly, when, he do, when he's doing what his father asked him to do, then he has made his father happy. And ask, oh, daddy, please, I, I want to go to church. I want to go to Nana Vivi, please. Should I go? I don't know. Or you've come again with this. I know it's because of this thing. Okay, you can go. Sometimes he will say no. He will stay home and pray at home. Do you know when his father was about to die? He's the major person that he was, wasn't a first son in the family. He's the one who received all the blessings. Because he will respect his father. Still, you know, knowing his father is not the same mistake with him. His father bless him. Bless him. And most of the blessings that his father blessed him, blessed him with, his father saw those blessings manifest in his life. Because he did not say, oh, father, you're a witch, you are this thing, and therefore I will not respect you. Hallelujah. It's very, very important. Even though they're not unbelievers, what will you do? You pray for God to give you the wisdom to live with them. God will give the wisdom to handle them, to understand them. Hallelujah. In the process, he begin to he be surprised that that's the right kind of person. We will even love you. We even you know 
He said yes to something that you expect him to say no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the respect, it's the respect that will always open that door. It doesn't matter the side or religion or whatever, whoever in that respect will open that door. Then if it's otherwise, the Lord will reveal to you of what to do and will bring confirmation of what to do and direct you. Hallelujah. Because every situation cannot be the same. But in everything, let whatever you do to them, in the deep down your heart, be of full respect and full love. You don't hate your parents, no matter what. You don't hate them. Even though they made mistakes, yes, they are your parents. They make mistakes. You still respect them with their mistakes. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, what we call mistakes, God may want to, from that very situation or that issue, you know, bring something out of that ne negative situation. Hallelujah. God may decide to bring some, what, something out of it from that negative situation. Probably somebody probably, uh, 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 probably may fall ill or sick or have an accident and have disability. You know, you start murmuring and killing yourself. Oh, you cannot bear this anymore. This this person that you marry or this or this or, or this your parents that you used to, you know, you cannot continue to carry this kind of body. I cannot do it anymore. I cannot start pushing my mother or my father or my brother or my husband or whatever up and down with wheelchair or that kind of that kind of situation. I'm not praying that it should happen to you. But if that happened, remember that all things work together for good for those that love God. All things work together for good. He knows the reason. Accept it with joy, accept it with love. And you see how God will transform everything around, turn it everything around. One story happened. A, a, a guy wanted to marry. And the lady he was about to marry was blind. And that's what God revealed to him to marry. And he went ahead, trusted his God, and started to arrange everything. At that very place of wedding, as they are saying their marriage vow, the lady's eyes open. Why did God do that? Because God wanted to use it to manifest himself, knowing that that wedding, it blows up because, because of that kind of marriage, a lot of people were there. And God used it to, to announce himself again. And that brought, imagine, from wedding now become a revival ground and a healing, a healing ground. What? God, he knows, the, he knows, he knows, he knows. Hallelujah. We always get the benefit and we always get the, the blessings when we handle whatever that comes our way with love, with joy. Because remember, the Bible says what that the joy is what? The joy is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Then when the enemy have taken away the joy, that means you have taken away your strength. What again do you have? You are vulnerable to his attack. And you are vulnerable to omnas of mistake and omnas of evil. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will make us wise. No matter whatever we go through, we go through them in love. I will allow that joy of God in the name of Jesus to have that to keep us standing and keep and keep you know, giving us, empowering us, giving us strength over every situation that we face in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now Psalm 59, verse 1 and 2. Say, deliver me from my enemies, oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil. And save me from broadcasting men. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray it once again. Deliver us from our enemies, oh our God. Protect us from those who rise up against us. Deliver us from those who walk evil. And save us from broadcasting men. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, we we'll give you praise. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then Psalm 91 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To ye who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover me with his pinion, and under his wings, I will find refuge in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. I will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day, in the name of Jesus. Nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes and wounded, in the name of Jesus. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I we only look with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. My son and the Because you have, I have made the Lord my dwelling place. The most high who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall me. No plague will come near my tent. In the name of Jesus. For the Lord has commanded his angels concerning me. To guide me in all my ways. On their hand they will bear me up. I will not strike my foot against stones. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I will tread on the lion and the other, the young lion and the serpent that shall trample underfoot in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I hold fast to God the Lord, He will deliver me. He will protect me because He knows my name. When I call upon the name of the Lord, He will answer me in the name of Jesus. Because we know in the Lord's name. When we call upon the name of the Lord, He will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will rescue us and honor us. He will long life, He will satisfy us and show us salvation in every areas of our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have a Psalm 144 for verse 1 to end. Break a pass and I devotion here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. Oh Lord, what is a man that you regard him, or a son of man that you think of him? Mark Kapai, the mark is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Mass have told the mountains, so they smoke, platform the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrow and rule them. In the name of Jesus. My son, stretch out your hand from on high, rescue me and deliver me from many waters, from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus, I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp. In the name of you, I will play to you who give victory to kings, who rescue David his servant from a cruel sword, rescue me and deliver me. In the name of Jesus, my son, in the more road here. From the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is rotten of falsehood. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And may our songs in their youth be like plant, full grown. Our, our daughters, like a corner pillar, called for a soldier of a palace. In the name of Jesus, may our granary be full, providing all kinds of produce. In the name of Jesus, may our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our field. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my son, the rebel already here. May our cattle be heavy with you, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. In the name of Jesus, Ragabans and the rebel here. May there be no cry of distress in our streets, no cry of distress in our homes, no cry of distress in our businesses, no cry of distress even in our health, no cry of distress in everything that concerns us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, no cry of distress in our in our, in our countries. In the name of Jesus, my son, blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is their Lord. Thank you, Lord, Jesus, for what you've done tonight, O oh Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the last um, scripture. Psalm 154, verse 1, and he said, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up our high. When their anger was kindled against us, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us a spread to their teeth. We have escaped like a bed from the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus, the snail is broken. We have escaped because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will thank you, Lord, tonight. 
We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration for what you've done in our lives, O oh Lord. We say glory, glory, glory to your holy name. Glory to your holy name, King of kings and Lord of lords. Mighty God, glory to your holy name. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. And then before we go tonight, I just want us to you know, sing one song. Hallelujah. One of these songs. Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you praise. 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 No one like you, Lord Jesus. No one like you. No one like you for the things you've done in our lives. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus when he first loves me. Oh, how I love Jesus.
Thank you for your love, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And uh, tonight we pray in the name of you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. For those who have not given their life to Jesus Christ, he died on the cross of Calvary and uh, to set you free. Hallelujah. If one of those who are one of the struggling one sin or the other, and Satan is condemning you and you're feeling, oh, I'm not worthy to be inside, or oh, I have sinned against, or oh, I'm, you know, just accusation upon accusation upon accusation. Don't allow the his accusation to keep you away from doing your spiritual exercises you praying you singing you showing love showing kindness and doing other other things because satan will always want to fill our heart with accusation so when it feed your heart with accusation you need to you need to make it to see why you should not serve god because if you why you know that you know, make it to see yourself filthy Make you make make you see yourself not qualified enough to to serve God or to pray or to ask God for anything. It's total lies and manipulation is using on, on us. And if you're in such kind of situation and those who are who who are, who who who, who been struggling one thing or the other, I want us in the name of Jesus this this hour to repeat these words with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this hour. I know I have sinned against you in these ways. Please forgive me. Cleanse me. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities. In the name of Jesus. And therefore, Lord, Lord Jesus, at this night, I accept you as a personal Lord and Savior. I believe that you died and rose again on the third day. And you're coming back to take your, take us home. And therefore, Father, Lord, I accept you, Lord. Be my Lord and my Savior. In the name of Jesus. I have a help me, Lord Jesus, to be able to walk in the path of holiness and righteousness. Help me, Lord, to see the truth and stay in truth. In the name of Jesus, let the worldliness, let 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 my unforgiveness, let every man of of um, evil, both uh, anger, the name of be far away from me from now. I receive power over this this in the name of Jesus. Father, strengthen your Lord and help me, Lord Jesus, to relate and to have those who will help me to know you better as friends and any friends that I have that are making me to. To commit one sin or the other, or make you know they are not they are not right. Father, I pray that let such relationship be caught this hour, and I win the sword of spirit to divide and to break those 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 ties and those and those bonds in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the right people who will help us to love you, who will help us. You know, and one of us said that iron sharpens an iron. Hallelujah! And I pray in the name of Jesus, let that begin to happen in our lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for for doing that in our lives. In Jesus' name, and I pray for those who are sick, be healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. By the grace of God, we'll be here in the morning for our Sabbath service that starts from seven a.m. in the morning till it's quite a very very glorious moment in His presence. Every Saturday, every Saturday we've been on air, especially early in the morning. 
every Saturday. Sometimes there, there was a time that we that we were in the morning service for almost five hours. It was very really glorious. That was a few years ago. But since 2019, we've been here every day and night, day and night. Saturdays is always a powerful day. We have um, four services on Saturdays. Hallelujah. The first one is the early morning, just like a Sabbath service. Early, there's a lot of things that goes on. And after that, uh, two uh, two o'clock is our moment in His presence. We just sing and thanking God, just practicing what we do in heaven. Hallelujah. There's something about prophetic acts which is very, very powerful. That will say we should call those that are not if they if they are. And if you if you are truly a Christian, it's very, very powerful with practice that and say, let the weak say I'm strong. Hallelujah. It's very, 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 very powerful when we carry out some prophetic acts in our lives. Hallelujah. Even sometimes <laughs> But let me just share this. Sometimes it's, very, it's good to see yourself singing sometimes. You need to imagine yourself standing in the presence of God. You know, you bind down before Him. You join the host of heaven. You imagine it. Imagine the prophetic act. Imagine. Take yourself there in the spirit. Even though you cannot see, just take yourself there. Hallelujah. As you keep doing that and over and over and over, you are establishing it. Seriously, you are establishing it. And when the top person sounds, God will definitely make a way that you will be at the right place at the right time when the top person sounds. And you will not miss it. But if you take this, this, this exercise for granted, unfortunately, you'll be sure that every all your work will not be recognized. Everything that you have done. Because Satan will look for a way to make sure that he spoil your work. It's wicked so. And therefore, it's always good to arrest the future prophetically. Remember, even God Himself, before He delivered the children of Israel, was telling them already through the prophet that so so I will deliver these people. And 400 years I will do. He will say it over and over. Establish it. Keep establishing it. And the same way too, we have to keep it. Because I was asking in my spirit about to. God, about what happened, why did the thief in, on the cross made heaven? The thief on the cross, why did he make heaven? And I believe he must be a very positive-minded person who have been prophesying and sealing it, doing, giving offering. God, I use this offering to seal my, my me making heaven. I do arm, I do love and honor, do these things and, and connect it or, or link it or tie it Then after everything that happened, at the end of it all, when he's supposed to be in heaven, he, he was in heaven. And some of those people that he killed, probably Christians and all that, they think that he's going to make, that he will not make it. They'll be so shocked seeing him in heaven. The same way, most of us will be very shocked to see most of our celebrities. Some of those people will know that these guys are satanic. Some of us will be shocked seeing them in heaven. Most of us will be very shocked seeing them in heaven. Because there's some things. Hmm, there are some ordinances. There are some principles in life. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't follow those principles in life. You will always, at the end of your breakthrough, at the end of your, the Satan will always come to destroy May God help us in Jesus' name. It is very good we take the way God operates and, and, and apply that in our own life because there's so much deep things in the way God operates that we don't know. Before God do things, even before David came, he said, I will bring a king who will do this. Before Jesus Christ came, I will bring a king. Just keep prophesying, prophesying to these prophets. At the end of it all, we see those prophecies, you know, they came true. That means the Lord wants us to be doing that, even when you are giving uh, gifts to the to the homeless, giving gift to the poor, those in the streets, doing some of these things, always tie it to something. Say, God, uh, this is that I'm saying. You say 
You say you will bless me and give me. This is for my seat close to you in heaven. I will sit very close to you in heaven in Jesus. I'm the next person. And you didn't see that. So I'm blessing this person. That's what I'm doing in the name of Jesus. Don't just give things and don't do something without any order in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And in the process of doing that, we begin to see some strange things begin to happen in our lives. We begin to wonder why. Because you don't just take things for granted in the name of Jesus. But that's the, the word, the thing today that, that the enemy is hold, using to hold the Christians, those who truly believe in Christ, captive and make us to just wallow in different kind of issues in our life that we don't even understand because we don't have a principle. And I pray that God will wake us up in the name of Jesus and help us to read his word with understanding in the name of Jesus. I love you all and God bless you all. Those who can please join us. Our 7 a.m. programs and the 2 a.m. Sorry, 2 p.m. and 4 a.m. Sorry, 4 p.m. and the 11 p.m. program. For those who can please join us and God will bless you. If you can't, our messages is always on our state and our on our page. Please, we have we have thousands of messages. Hallelujah. We God have helped us in the name of you. Please view them and play them by the grace of God. God will use them to, in the name of your kindle your fire, and be to burn for Christ wherever you are, in the name of your love you all, and have a very wonderful night rest, in Jesus name we pray, amen, have a very wonderful night, love you all, I, I saw uh, some of our brothers and sisters connecting with us tonight, and uh, God bless you, and Jose has status, God bless you for joining us, and uh, Carol Carter, God bless you for joining us. And Jessica Eden, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. And the rest of you too who are joining but are not on the screen, God bless you all. My greatest prayer for all of us is this, that when the trumpet shall sound, you will be at the right place at the right time. You will not miss this heaven in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. whatever mysterious battle that you are facing, receive in the name of your mysterious power to overcome that mis mis mysterious battle in a mysterious way in the name of Jesus. God bless you all and have a very wonderful night rest in Jesus' name. Love you all for leading my heart. Shalom to you all in Jesus' name we pray.